religion and politics. But this week, David Cameron's comments have got them talking. Uh, well, we are a group of not moms, and uh, it is a multicultural non-profit group. We welcome moms from any nationality here. And English is not only a, a, a useful language here in the UK. Anywhere they go in this world, it's going to help them. It's exactly the kind of organisation the Prime Minister wants to see more of. Ah! Tackling social isolation and promoting community cohesion. How much more difficult is it for somebody that doesn't have that fluency in English? They don't know the language, they don't have the courage, it won't allow them to, you know, come out of their shell, to utilise them. And all these things, definitely the language barrier is ending up being, being, being just isolated. But the £20 million of funding for English classes won't be available for everybody. David Cameron will be targeting the money at Muslim women. I do welcome the announcement that they are going to um, dedicate money, and if that's in the form of English classes, um, I would welcome that. However, I think that it should be opened up to it should be opened up to all women. It's a topic for discussion at the Sharma Women's Centre in Leicester, where English classes are regularly held. Whilst the money's been welcomed, they worry it could end up dividing communities. We've actually had lots of women ring, ring up from different faith communities saying, well, why is this fund not for us? We need to learn English. And Shama Women's Centre have been here for 30 years providing English support to women of all faiths. And uh, the, the common barrier has been the language, not the actual faith of that individual. It's actually... Um...